Yeah, he's still alive. He was. It said nowadays. Don't forget your S in there. It's a Z sound, right? Nowadays mean, means these days, these weeks, these months, this time. Because now he does speaking to other people and everything else. And yeah. And, uh, but he still does a lot of climbing and everything. All right. So we were talking about Aaron Ralston. The, well, he was a young man then who had a very bad accident and almost lost his life down in Blue John Canyon in Utah, USA. So I'm going to ask you some questions about Aaron Ralston and his experience and see how much you comprehend, meaning how much you understand. So what did Aaron do in April 2003? Uh, she, he, she, oh, he, yeah, <laughs> he went to Blue John Canyon. Blue John. Blue, hike. Blue John. Blue John Canyon, Canyon in Utah U to hike. Utah. Utah is a state in the USA. Utah. Put the put the teddy bear away. You're doing a test now. All right. So he went hiking. That's what he did. Yeah. But but he did something wrong. What two big mistakes did he make on that day? What were the two big mistakes he made? Uh, he couldn't phone a friend or his parent, and nobody knew he was there. He didn't have much food or water with him. That is a big mistake. That was the mistake? Are you sure? Hmm. The mistake was that he didn't have enough food. Ah, and he I know. Didn't... He didn't have a a mobile phone with him and he didn't tell anybody where he was that's right he went on a hiking trip by himself he never brought a mobile phone and he never told anybody where he was going so nobody could find him it wasn't about the food because he was only planning to go for uh, the day anyway probably or may maybe overnight it doesn't say if he was going to camp or not but so he probably had enough food for what he wanted to do it did last five days 127 hours i think it is that he was there um yeah. but it was uh, not telling people where he was going that's that that was the big mistake yeah that's correct so what happened what happened to aaron when he was climbing down the canyon what what's this whole story about uh suddenly a large rock fell on his right arm it trapped his arm again on the canyon wall yeah, P E D is a T sound. Trapped. 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 Yeah, so it trapped his arm, pinned his arm against the rocks, right? Because you got to think he's climbing down a narrow canyon, right? He's climbing down, <laughs> and this big rock falls in there, and he's, you know, trying to get out of the way, I guess, but it must have happened really quick. So you can imagine you've got this canyon that that's wider at the top and then he's go, he's climbing down the canyon you paying attention yeah all right he's climbing down but then the rock comes and jams in there but he gets his arm stuck between yeah. the wall and the big rock so it's like ah ah i don't think you were at this lesson but we had some pictures of of aaron ralston and where his arm was trapped and the big boulder um no, I don't think you did this lesson because this was uh, it was the last lesson of the term. I think second last lesson of the term. You missed that class. Yeah, so that was a good class. So yeah, he was stuck down there. So how did Aaron try to free himself? He did three things to try to get out. Tried to free himself. What were the three things he tried to do? Um, first of all, he tried to move the rock. Yeah, then he right tried now. to break the rock with his knife. Uh, he had a rock and he tried to pull the rock away. Nothing worked. And the last one, he tried to his arm. So terrible. Well, that wasn't what he tried. That's what he did. Yeah. Right. So, so first he tried moving the rock, but it was too heavy. How heavy was it? Yeah. How heavy was the rock? Um, 360 kilograms. Yeah. How heavy are you? 40. 40. How much can you lift? 
Can you lift a hundred kilograms? No. Because <laughs> I'm so weak. Ugh. That's not good. That's not good. You need to do some exercise every morning. Yeah, so he tried to move it. He tried to push it. But, of course, the rock was stuck between the rocks. It was jammed in there. So it was probably, not only was it 360 kilograms, but it was also wedged between two rocks. So it was like, oh, my God, how are you going to move that? You'd need a truck to be pulling on the other side. And then he tried chipping away, right, with his knife, trying to break the rock so he could pull his hand out. But that yeah. wasn't working. And then he had some rope. And he tried to leverage the rope over something and wrap it around and try to pull on the rope to help push the pull the rope up to get the arm out. And none of that worked. So you already gave the answer, but I'm going to ask again. How did Aaron finally free himself? Finally? Yeah. How did he actually get out? Uh, it's the terrible thing. <laughs> it is. Uh, he, uh, he, uh. He couldn't feel his hand, so he couldn't lie. He could die, and he could cut his own arm up. So he just cut his own arm up. He broke the bone in his arm, then he tried to look close around his arm and started cutting it with his knife. Ugh. Yeah, he couldn't feel his hand anymore. He'd already been stuck there for five days. Yeah. So no one was going to find him. So if he didn't do it, yeah, he was going to die right there. He had no choice. It's cut your arm off or die. <laughs> exactly. So why did he take a cloth and wrap it around his arm? What was that for? Can you say again? My why, why did he wrap a cloth around his arm? He didn't want to get messy or what? Be because if he cut his arm, his arm off, it's, very, uh, it's bleeding. So he had to close it up to uh, stop the ble bleeding. Yeah, put pressure on it to stop the bleeding. That is absolutely right. Yeah, so that's that's got to be horrible when you you try to think it through your head. You're stuck there five days, and and you have to break your arm first, and you got two bones in your arm, so he had to break two bones, and then he had to cut through his own arm, and it took him an hour to do it. How painful was it? How much did it hurt? Um, it was 100 times worse than any pain I have felt before. <laughs> yeah, what's the worst thing you did? What's the worst pain you had before? Uh, <coughs> I, I kicked the ball and my, uh, my leg was... Uh, was uh, it's not broke, but... Sprained it's ankle. Not you sprain your ankle. Yeah, yeah, that I twist your ankle. Uh, did you ever burn yourself by accident? You're cooking with oil, and oil splashes on your hand, or or you burn yourself with fire. No, you never burnt yourself. Oh wow, I, I still burn. Been. I I burnt myself just the other week. I got a big red spot on my stomach. I was cooking fried chicken. Why? And I was pulling the chicken out, and something fell, and I moved, and I the pan hit my stomach. And I was like, ah! And I burnt the side of my stomach with the boiling oil and, and a boiling frying pan. And I got this big red mark now on my stomach. It's like, oh! Sometimes I burn myself. <laughs> what the hell? Um, Definitely messy when I cook in the kitchen. Dangerous when I cook in the kitchen. All right. Uh, I heard my mom. She said in the past she is um playing with his dog, mm -hmm. and when she uh, went out, uh, she go out of her her home. She uh, saw two of the dog. They are going to. Uh, Biting her, she oh, yeah. in the past. I don't know. It's very scary. long in the past. Did the dogs bite her, or are they just scared? Yeah. Ah, uh, they bit her. Bite her. Oh, that would hurt. 
<laughs> Dogs bite really hard. I, oh, um, two years ago, I go to I went to my friend's house, and the dog is going to bite me, but but I uh, would skip it. I would skip it. Yeah. What skip it? Jumped oh, over top of the dog. Jump. It's not jump. Uh, it's about what? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. The dogs in Vietnam. Dodge. I, I, I noticed. Yeah. yeah. Can you hear this? Eh? Dodge. Dodge. Dodge the dog. Move out of the way. Yeah, no, it's crazy. You go for walks here in Vietnam, and you, you're always taking a chance that a dog is not going to come running out of the house and bite you. Almost every street, there's always an aggressive dog. Yeah, it's. I hear it's really bad that way in uh, South America too. That there's lots of stray dogs running around in the streets. Yeah, I bet you someone gets bit by a dog every day in Vietnam. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I I go to the park every day, and for some reason, when there's lots of people, the dogs stay in the house next to the park. But if there's if it's really quiet in the afternoon, yeah. um, and you walk by the house, the three of them run out and come after you every time. So I always have to stand there and kind of slowly walk away and then they just they they get really close like they want to bite but then they back off and then they get close and they want to bite and it's like nerve-wracking but anyway if the dog bites me he's going to be in big trouble i'm gonna kick his bb so he finally he wrapped up the arm to stop the bleeding he managed to cut his arm off he's in extreme pain now he's got to climb up out of that little canyon and down the plateau and back down the other side into the valley. Yeah. How does he get rescued? How was Aaron rescued? Rescued? Yeah. How did he get to the hospital? Um, 12 kilometers away from his car. Uh, finally, he was free. Uh, uh, go. Then he even totally he met some other hiker and a helicopter came to risk rescued him he took him to the ho hospital so how did the helicopter find him um the other hiker can be called the 911 yeah probably i'm sure that's what it was because he didn't have a phone yeah. yeah do you think he ordered any pizza when they called the helicopter no why not he was really hungry because he, he is uh she she uh she could die if she 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 ah wait a minute he could die if no any uh, if nobody called a helicopter or call nine one one if they call uh, a pizza to him him will bleeding and him uh, he will die before the before the helicopter go to hospital yeah. See, I, I would have said, hey, yeah, call the helicopter, but call for a pepperoni pizza, too, so I can eat the pepperoni pizza on the helicopter on the way to the hospital. That's what I would have said. Uh, the word, uh, the sentence you usually say it, what, the papa, what? What? The, the, the sentence you usually say is what, like, sentence papa, I the sentence I usually say? Uh, holy macaroni. What? Holy macaroni. <gasps> macaroni. You're a macaroni. What is macaroni mean? Macaroni is a pasta. Oh, holy It's like macaroni. a spaghetti. Holy macaroni. It's a pasta. It's just a noodle. Sometimes people tease other people and they say, yeah, you're such a noodle head. Right? So that's why I call kids macaronis. Yeah. You're, you're a macaroni. Holy macaroni. All right, cheese. We're done. Tomorrow night is interest 10. See you Peter. there. Yes. I love you so much. Bye-bye, Mr. Stitcher. We love you too. Good night. <laughs>